If you haven't seen this video yet about the Atlanta woman that got dropped by her man for doing the silhouette challenge and then refusing to take the video down, that was a good video, so I'm leaving the link below just in case you missed it. Wanna give a special shout out to Baron and Joel. I appreciate you guys what you donated to the Cash App. If you wanna support this channel as well, you can hit up the Cash App, the link is below in the description. You can also support this channel by liking this video. All right, so on the call that I'm talking about, DJ was teed off that his girl would even do something like this and insisted that now she's for the streets since she has no issue with showing her naked silhouette behind a filter. She says she wanted to get out there. Basically, she saw all the women doing the challenge and felt left out. She wanted to show people that she can do it too and follow the thought Tanisha's right out of her relationship. You know, I really couldn't believe that this grown woman will be influenced by girls on the internet, most of them doing the challenge as single women. But then you had Erin who left this comment here and she made a good point. She said, Chloe was not naked when she did this challenge. So I'm confused why she wasn't wearing clothes. She's referring to Chloe Bailey from the R&B duo with her sister, I believe Hallie. Really cute sweet girl signed to Beyonce as teenagers. Chloe did this dance to celebrate hitting 1 million followers on IG. She recently ventured out and got her own account. Previously, Chloe and her sister Haley shared a joint IG. So yeah, Chloe hopped on IG about a week ago, did the busted challenge, and in one week managed to get so much attention, she now has over 1.5 million followers. Chloe, Aisha Curry, and the Atlanta woman from the call all have something in common. They have a deep desire to be wanted by men, and not just a man of their own, but as many men as possible. Aisha, of course, is weird because she has a whole husband. Why are you jealous of your husband, ma'am, and in competition with him? I still don't understand this about Aisha. The Atlanta woman on the phone also had a man. He complimented her all the time and would randomly buy her flowers so that she felt like she was getting the proper attention. But no, it wasn't good enough for her. It wasn't enough. Then you have Chloe. Sweet girl, I really like her and her sister. I remember following them from the Drake cover mashup that they did. I believe it was to Drake's song, Headlines. Now Chloe is all grown up, busting it on IG, and got Drake, aka Champagne Poppy, following her IG and probably hitting up her DMs trying to put her on the flight. The difference with Chloe is she's single. She's like 22. I'm hoping she's able to get the high value man she wants but Chloe has to be careful before she ends up like the bitter Bettys by the time she hits 32. You see, she's a perfect candidate right now. She's still young and has a lot on her side in a good way. I don't think she's playing the field either. I really just think she wants some attention, she's alone. I mean, but we have to remember that perception is everything and consequences come with everything as well. So she has to make sure that she keeps this type of stuff in check. It's not a music video. It's not a concert performance. She's just walking around in her undies, waving around Sage. Kind of giving me the K. Michelle, Black China, maybe the Erica Badu vibes. And in my eyes, Chloe is too innocent to be moving like a K. Michelle, or a Black China especially. Just too innocent to be posing as a rebel on IG. She got some backlash from fans, and she went on IG and uh, cried about it. And I'm, I, I'm really grateful for you all's support and love because it just wouldn't be right of me to show an image of me that I'm not, like a made up, clean cut image of me that I'm just not. I'm just inside, I'm such a nerd and I like, I'm not worldly at all. Like ask anyone who knows me, they think I'm like 50 years old in the head. But when I perform, and when I make music and when I dance, that's when I get to tap into the sexier side of myself. And that's where I find my confidence. I'm not gonna cry this time because y'all know I'd be crying. So it really means a lot to me when I can finally get to a place where I share who I really am. And I've been like really insecure for a long time. And I'm finally like at that place where I have self-confidence. I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> I 
and I'm really happy that I get to share that with you all. And I think it's so important and so special when a black woman can be strong and stand in her power in every single way. You know, I do it musically with my songwriting, with my producing, I feel so bad. And I get the same feeling when I dance in my room, when I just own who I am and my body. And for so long, I used to think I was like fat and like I used to hate my stretch marks and my cellulite. I'm not gonna cry. <sighs> but it's like now I really love who I am. And I don't post what I post for validation from anybody or even male attention. It's just me. And a lot of people who know like who's on my like private Instagram, they see like I'm just, that's how I find my confidence because it has taken me a lot to appreciate myself and my body. There's been so many times where I felt I wasn't pretty enough, where I just, I have a lot of issues with my weight. So it's really, it's a pivotal time for me. I'm just now learning at like 22, almost 23, that it's okay to be all that you are and to stand in that power. Then she went on live with Jordan Woods. She's another one who didn't get much attention before and now she's trying to make up for it. Thirsty as ever, just like Aisha Curry. I just, like every time I see your curves, you make me want to embrace mine even more. Like, I, I don't know if it was for you, but for me, like growing up, I used to like, I used to be like, why do I have extra fat down here? And then I remember I was 12 and I went on some school trip and I first saw my stretch marks coming out. But I was like, you know what? I'm learning to love myself. And I think seeing women like you, it just like, it just inspires even me to step more into my confidence. And I'm just happy that black women in today's age are so fearless and we're not really like letting stuff stop us. And I think that was also a learning lesson I just had to learn too, you know? Well, uh -oh. yeah, things and people could have stopped me, but yeah. I didn't let that happen. And growing up, I was always someone that I had to learn to be confident. Mm -hmm. I was confident. I gained my confidence from realizing like my individuality is my greatest gift. God gave me this body for a reason. Exactly. So I choose to own it or it's like, if I can change it, let's work on it. If I can accept it. Portia from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. She also took up for Chloe as well. I also want to speak on this. You hear that voice up there? That is Chloe and uh, what's her sister's Hi. name? Chloe and Kylie? Hi. No, Hi, Hallie, Hallie. Chloe and Hallie. Um, leave them little girls alone. This is just pissing me off. I'm seeing it everywhere and everywhere I see it, I'm commenting. Leave that little girl alone. She is absolutely gorgeous. If y'all were that fine at that age, which most of us were, if we had social media, we would be on there as well. Y'all know we used to be in the garage, right? Doing our little dance numbers. Talking about, hand me this, let me sing it to this brush. Let me act like a superstar. Well, guess what? They are actual superstars. And very beautiful, naturally, natural queens. Y'all always talking about, y'all want a natural queen? That's a natural queen right there. Both of them, okay? And don't, what y'all, Marta Bus. Stop shaming people, okay? When I'm big, I don't shame nobody. Matter of fact, when I'm big, I follow even more fine Like, I want to see you looking good and being confident, okay? Like, let's let's make that the new normal, okay? Let's Don't bring it into Black History Month. Y'all started off all wrong coming for her like that. Don't do that. Let's lift these young, beautiful queens up. We done had our time. forget Phaedra told me one time she was like I don't understand why they be hating on you blah blah and I was like I was like me either she was like cuz Portia I done had my time she was like it's on to you you go ahead and be that bad bitch. you go ahead and do what you do and I'm gonna do what I do for me being who I am that's what she told me and I was like damn that's a real woman right there she was like I don't she was like do you it's your turn to do you and that's how we should feel about any of these young, beautiful queens. Don't preach this women's empowerment and you're up in church, you know, talking about, you know, build the women up and build, you know, etc. And then go online and judge somebody because they got a bad body. Don't do that. You don't get to judge how somebody, um, 
You don't get to judge how somebody shows their, their physique or, or exude their confidence. Y'all cheering on Lizzo, cheer her on, okay? Both of them bad. Don't just choose who you want to cheer on or who you want to tear down or shame. I don't know. I'm mad about that because if I was her age and, you know, bad like that, I would be doing the exact same thing and I would have another something for y'all to say than online crime. But look, it made her emotional and I got her back and all of us women should have her back. If you see somebody bullying in these comments in 2021, block them or um, let's get under there and give them and make them make their account private. I support Chloe. I wish nothing but the best for her. She and her sister, they're very talented women. They can sing and play instruments, obviously dance. They also know how to make beats. up like Angela Simmons. She might want to get wifed up within the next two, three years, make the right selection and live happily ever after, but don't play the field too long. A lot of women make that mistake. You can't think you're going to be 22 years old forever. Next thing you know, you wake up at 32 and you're smashed slap dead into the wall. So yeah, it's also been brought to my attention that some TikTok users have found a way to bypass the shadow effect. Newsweek and other media outlets are warning people about the challenge because many users' bodies were being exposed without their consent. I'm telling you, this is crazy. People have to stop following trends and doing everything they see online like this Atlanta woman getting naked during this challenge. Don't put this type of stuff out there and get some serious help to figure out what it is, what deep-rooted issues they have that has them craving for attention like this. This is not normal. But hey, if you wanna support this channel, make sure you hit up the Cash App. The link is below in the description. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started below in the comments. Just remember to be respectful, everybody. Ladies, fellas, looking for a change, tired of the same? Do you want to also hear things from a female perspective? Go ahead and make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, and share.